Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. I am Madam Madya. Today we are going to learn about free trade and free trade agreement under the topic under the topic of global economic issues. At the end of the lecture, the student must be able to describe the definition of free trade agreement, identify the advantages and the disadvantages of free trade and free trade agreements. The structure of the lecture divided to three parts. The first one is an introduction. What is international economics and international trade? Import and export. Second one is free trade and free trade agreement. What is tariff? What is free trade? What are the advantages and disadvantages of free trade and free trade agreements? Last but not least, an international economic organization. World Trade Organization, International Monetary Fund, and World Bank. Tariff. Today, we're going to learn about tariff. What is tariff? A tariff is a tax imposed by a government on goods and services imported from other countries. The purpose of it is to increase the price and make imports less desirable. In other words, tariff in simple words is the import and export duties. It is the purpose, as we know, the purpose of tariff is to increase the price of the products and it will make people opt for a cheaper alternatives. For example, to discourage the purchase of Italian leader handbags, US government introduced a tariff of 50% that drive the purchase of those bags so high the domestic alternatives are much cheaper and affordable. For example, in Malaysia, for automobile industry in Malaysia, a tax is, import, is imposed to the imported car. For example, if a person wants to, if, a, if a, the buyer wants to purchase a Honda car, the tax will be imposed to the price of Honda and it will, the, consequently, it will make the price increase. Thus, the price will be higher than our national car Proton. So what is the free trade? After we know about the meaning of tariff, we, we want to know what is the meaning of free trade. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, free trade is a policy which a government doesn't discriminate against imports or interfere with exports by applying tariff. In other words, free trade is a government policy that doesn't discriminate against imported products or interfere with exported products. Free trade is a, a policy that the government imposes no taxes and tariffs on duties on imports or quotas on exports. This, um, we have to know that the free trade is the opposite of pro protectionism. So what is the protectionism? Is the defensive trade policy that intended to elim eliminate the possibility of foreign competition. For example, like I said before, free trade is a policy that government will uh, doesn't dis free trade is a policy that the government doesn't discriminate against import or in ex ex uh, in import export products. However, protectionism is different. Protectionism is a defensive trade policy. In other words, for example, in 
For example, in situation that there is no tax for imported or exported products for free trade, however, one have, however, protectionism is a policy that the government impose tax in order to protect local product. Right. For example, the example of policy of protectionism in Malaysia, we can see from national our national car proton in order for in order for uh, protect to protect our national product malaysia impose high tax to an imported car this is for it is for the purpose of it is in order to make sure that people will buy a national car instead of imported car This, we can see here advantages of free trade. The first advantage and advantages, one of the advantages of free trade is, one is help consumer. The consumer will tend to see lower prices because more products imported from countries with lower labor costs become available. In other words, consumer will gain wide variety of products at lower prices consumer can gain a wide variety of products there will be a variety of products at affordable prices consumer also will enjoy increased purchasing purchasing power for the limited income Increase foreign investment when not faced with trade restriction, foreign investors tend to pull money into local business because they want to expand and compete. The third one is increased competition. The domestic firms will face more competition from abroad. Therefore, there will be incentive to cut costs and increase efficiency. It may prevent domestic monopolies from charging too high price. International competition also will reduce monopoly power by domestic producers. And in other words, domestic producers, like it or not, they have to design their products and uh, achieve a good product in order to compete with a product from other countries increase the last one the fourth one is encourage technology transfer the domestic businesses gain access to the latest technologies developed by their multinational partners businesses businesses can be expanded the market can be expanded this the product, the, the, the subsequent growth of production reduces cost per unit and elevates and spreads efficiency. Businesses and corporation will transfer technology by, by the, because of they have a multinational partners. They can exchange their knowledge with the multinational partners from other countries. Next is this the disadvantages of free trade. There are several disadvantages of free trade. For example, the first one is the trade of intellectual properties. Every country has different protection for patents. Companies take advantage of stealing ideas and compete with lower prices. Second one is the impacts on employees. Due to the increased competition in free trade, some local companies might close or decide to move elsewhere. Many employees will be displaced. In other words, local product will close or will close or lose in the competition if they cannot compete with international products. Thus, due to this reason, it will give an impact to the employees. The third one is the poor working conditions. Companies may outsource jobs to emerging market labor protection. Women and children are often subjected to grueling factories 
drops in substandard condition. The last one is the free degradation of natural resources. Free trade leads to depletion of tim timber, minerals, and other natural resources because of lack of protection. So let us look at what is free trade agreement. Free trade agreement is an international agreement between two or more countries to reduce, remove trade barriers and bring closer economic integration. Malaysia, it is an important, it is important for Malaysia, a small economy, uh, to have an open economy with small domestic market. It's important for Malaysian business to go beyond our border, to expand the market, to explore more opportunities, to penetrate other markets, other countries' market. Thus, it is important to have a free trade agreement. Free trade agreement which Malaysian government signed can help companies to export. Free trade agreement helps to enhance our competitive advantage, strengthen investors' confidence, and to a large extent, builds Malaysia economic sustainability. Malaysia, there are several implemented bilateral, seven bilateral free trade agreement. For example, Malaysia have a free trade agreement with Japan, Pakistan, New Zealand, Chile, Australia, and Malaysia, and and Turkey, while at the Asian level, Malaysia has the six regional FTAs with AFTA. AFTA is the ASEAN Free Trade Agreement, China, Korea, Japan, Australia. In other words, for example, Malaysia will have some free trade agreement for with another country, with, with Singapore, for example, to explore more opportunity and to expand market to Singapore. Same goes to Singapore. Singapore also want to have uh, to penetrate Malaysian market and expand the markets to Malaysia. So this is the example of a free trade agreement. So for Asian level, we have a ASEAN free trade agreement. So do you see the importance of free trade agreement? It gives more opportunities to our local market and to expand markets to other countries and it also will bring a good and economic bring economic uh, advantages to malaysia so here there are free trade agreement pros and cons pros increase economic growth lower government spending technology transfer however there are also cons of a free trade agreement, increased job outsourcing, poor working condition, degradation of natural resources. So these are several examples of free trade agreement. We have NAFTA, ASEAN, European Free Trade Association, AU Canada Free Trade Agreement, EU Japanese Free Trade Agreement, and US South Korea. Free trade agreement. So this is also uh, you can you may also look at how does trade works in YouTube, and this is the global economic issue in nutshell. You can read it here, and last but not least, economic growth without social progress. Less the great majority of people remain in poverty while as privileged few reap the benefits of rising abundance. Thank you.